All right, listen up. I'm going to explain to you what a middleman is. Imagine if you wanted to buy my account, Ironic, on Minecraft, Snapchat, or Twitter. It doesn't really matter. You could theoretically just send me the money, but that's brain dead, and I could just take your money and block you. Not really a lot of options for you to take legal action or anything like that against me since most OG names are sold via crypto for anonymity. However, if you sent the money to a third party, let's say someone we both trust, maybe someone who does these kinds of services for a living, you could assure me that it's safe for me to send you the accounts first before receiving the money because regardless of what happens, the middleman won't give me the money until you've received your product and made sure I can't access it, and the middleman would give you your money back if I can't hold my end of the deal, you know, I'd try to scam you with like the wrong username or maybe you can't actually secure the account or something, right? Doesn't matter. It's the exact same system used by freelancer websites like Fiverr. The only difference is a lot of things can go wrong during a deal on OG users, so it's much better to have a real human as the middleman so they can sort out both parties and make sure everyone is happy. But what happens when one of these trusted middlemen just goes broke. Well, that's exactly what happened to Amp, one of the most respected middlemen on the website since he joined six years ago. He was actually one of the first 700 people who signed up for the forum in 2017. If you're not really sure how OG that is, there's around 650,000 registered users today, a lot of them being dead accounts or banned, but that's another story. Now, Amp has spent most of his years leeching a little 5% fee off any deal he could secure himself as the middleman for. This is really good money if you didn't know, since the average deal on OG users usually ranges between $500 to $1,000 at the very least. This gives you $25 at the very low low end for just witnessing a deal, but this number can go as high as $500 easily since there's a lot of high value accounts exchanging hands every single day. Now the specific deal that caused ARK to scam and get insta banned off the website is actually quite brain dead to be honest. Here's what happened. The deal in and of itself between the buyer and the seller was quite questionable to begin with. A username claim for the Instagram account of the board AP Yacht Club NFT. Well, that's what I think, and really not sure what was being sold to be honest. But regardless, the buyer was ready to pay $103,000 for this account. That's $6,500 in fees for just witnessing the deal. Although I'm sure he rounded it up to a lower number since it was such a massive transaction. Now, these types of deals usually take quite a while since, you know, the Bitcoin has to confirm in the middleman's wallet, the buyer has to secure the accounts he bought from you, and you can expect to go back and forth in the group chat for at least an hour. Now, while waiting, Amp just straight up decides to deposit the buyer's funds into his stake.com account and then starts gambling with them. I'm sure the reason he did this is because he's hit big in the past and he wanted to chase that high again, but this was clearly a mistake as he lost all the funds in record time. Oof, I really would have appreciated that kind of donation, man. Now when this happened, Amp was immediately banned and he ended up having to sell his accounts to his client for another 20 grand to help him recover his lost funds. I mean, we're already 130 and we might as well make it 150, right? So then the buyer began using Amp's reputation as a trusted middleman to deceive other users who hadn't heard the news that Amp had been banned for exit scamming. I doubt he managed to recover all of it, but I'm sure a few people fell for this while the word was being spread. One of the admins on OG users, Ark, then made a big announcement that basically just said, yeah, Amp has a gambling problem, so we banned him. Lamau. Sucks for that guy, right? And that's where this case kind of dies down. It's actually really interesting if we take a look at his stake account, because we can see that over the lifetime of his accounts, he's wagered over 3.6 million dollars. This doesn't mean that he's gambled that much, as it does include winnings and things like that, but he's deposited at least $930,000 to the Ethereum address linked to his account. If you couldn't see how this guy has a gambling issue before, I'm sure you could see it now because that's completely insane. I swear to god, I've covered so many stories of crypto millionaires from Com losing millions while gambling. I seriously deserve a sponsorship from Stake or something at this point, so if any of you fuckers got any connections, you know, just tell them to hit me up, right? Anyway, like I mentioned earlier, the guy that got scammed ended up trying to use Amp's socials to scam more people, but it seems like he just ended up getting trolled a bunch of times. It starts off with him actually trying to lure people into the scam, but eventually as more and more people start messaging him, he just gets sadder and sadder, and by the end of the night, he just says fuck it and agrees to split with anyone if they bring in clients. It's actually really funny to see how the community reacted to these news as the memes just kept coming in. <laughs> But some people really seemed mad at Amp for this and wanted him to get hurt, but you guys need to realize that the guy has a serious problem and just clearly needs help. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any sympathy for his intentions either, and I think he completely deserved this ban, but he got what he deserved for the most part. I mean, he has no crypto, no socials, no services to offer, so he can't even recoup what he lost, and he's probably depressed as shit. I really don't know what else you can take away from him at this point, but to me, it seems like he's lost pretty much everything. Since there's a shortage of middlemen, 
middleman going around, I'll be offering a free middleman service to all my channel members, granted you convince the other person to trust me as well. I'll only be holding crypto and blah 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 blah, I'm not responsible for anything that happens after the deal. So yeah, for the low low price of $10 per month, you can get a free middleman now. Peace.